It is early-ish, it's about eight o'clock. I'm all dressed and ready to go, but I do need to get a baseball cap. So if you've seen it a hundred times, we're still in this situation. But what we're doing today, and I need to get a chair to stand on, I was hoping to do it with my husband, is we're going up there. And we're getting all the crap down. So I'm gonna clear this down, um, uh, get a chair, get up there, pull all that stuff down. And then there's some stuff up there as well. <laughs> And something that I'm really interesting to see. That thing there, that's the top of my wedding cake. You know when you get married and you keep the top for your christening? Well, yeah, when me and my husband got married in 2003, so that's 14 years ago, so I can't imagine what that looks like, but I'm dying to see it. Um, it's probably full of maggots. Perhaps I'm not dying to see it. Uh, there's not much up there, actually, because some things I've pulled down as we went along. I used to keep the, um, the cool bags, you know, lunch bags up there which are now safely ensconced in that drawer so kettle on the dog will probably come down and want feeding but I'll sort that out baseball cap on uh, get a chair to stand on and hopefully that I'll be able to reach up there you can see when it's like morning look it's sort of like a bluey light because the light's just coming up out there it looks really light out there but it's not um, uh, hopefully I'll be able to stand on a chair and reach it because the ladders, I can't get to the ladders and I'm not standing on one of them stools, they're so wobbly. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. let's get my baseball cap and get going. Okay, so tea is made in Her Majesty mug. I need to turn the light on. Probably doesn't look that bad to you, but it's quite dark. Dog is fed. Morning, Luckstar! <laughs> Side is cleared. Sorry. And I now got to climb up there. Oh, baseball cap is on. So let's see what you can see. Oh, I'm leaving that there because that came from up there. So this is like a sort of food thermos that you put food in to keep it hot. I've got a set of three and I went to deliver some food to someone and got it down the other day. So I need to get up there. Sorry, trying not to blind you with a light. Where's the best place to put you there? Maybe put you up there put you up there. Maybe I'll just put you there and you can see the stuff coming down. That'd be better. Right, let's get a chair. If you see me fall, fold an ambulance. Oh, that's what I had my hair tied up with. I don't need that for the minute. It's not high enough. It's semi high enough. anymore let's take you up there I need to get a higher chair <laughs> look that's as far as I can reach and there's still 18 champagne glasses there the old light thing the rest of the, oh, I can see better in the camera than I can see a plate some plant baking beans this thing with the red tape is the actually the light that's there <laughs> and then stuff over there I need to get a higher chair. Grr. Maybe if I go over that side, I can get some more of this. Oh, just <laughs> smashed myself in the teeth with the camera. Look at all these stupid monkeys in boxes. It's all these stupid monkeys. <laughs> this, this is a big monkey that used to advertise on digital. He's called Monkey. And then when on digital ceased to be, PG tips. 
adopted him and he become the PG Tips monkey. And then every, every now and then when you buy tea, you get a free monkey. <laughs> and this is like the collector. When we first moved in, there was a television on that stand in this room. <laughs> And we briefly used to sit here with the breakfast bra and watch TV. And then we just like, we, we didn't. We only watched the news when we was eating dinner usually. Um, and so we don't have a TV in there. So I don't know why the stand's still there. <laughs> and I don't know why that's still there. It used to be there when we, that used to be in the conservatory, our old conservatory. And I moved it in here when the conservatory was <laughs> being knocked down and then it just still see this is what happens your house evolves and you don't see the things that are happening anyway so yeah lots of pg monkeys in boxes which i really don't need so i'll probably just take them down the charity shop but let's move the chair around i must admit though i feel a bit better today i am still feeling a bit warm and a bit like i'm fighting this virus <laughs> so i really want to get this done swift now, I've only got an hour's battery life on my camera so it's got to be done in an hour so I'm going to get the chair and get the rest of the stuff down and I might not video that bit to have to get the stall. I look terrible. That's probably because I feel terrible. I'm not going into May with this stuff. Right, I'm going to make a step ladder. Right, people at home. Do not try this at home. I'm making a step ladder from the dining room chair onto the stall. Actually, I should turn that round. Support. All right, wish me luck. I'm going to need it. If you hear me fall, phone the ambulance. One, up the ladder. Two, look at the dust on me. Oh, you can't see it. Look, these were clean. Look at the dust. Let's put them up a little bit so I don't look like a gangster rapper. Maybe not that much. You don't need to see everything I've got in there. Oh! Oh! I'm all the way up! What can you see? Can you just see my bottom? Probably. the other day is a window curtain thingies I used to have them up there we used to have a curtain hanging down when the conservatory the old conservatory wasn't so nice we used to cover it up but I just bought one this size to do the bathroom with right I'm gonna come down because I'm scared of being on this wobbly thing and I'm gonna move the chair down. If you're watching this, you're all shouting out, you're mad, you're not well, you should be in bed. I know, I know I'm scared to get down. I'm scared it's going to wobble and fall over, I'm going to die. I did it, I did it. I'm not great at heights. Here we go. Right, actually, let's be sensible, make some space this time. So when I'm trying to lower the stuff down, there's somewhere to bloody put it. It's so warm in here, or is it just me? I think it's just me. Bloody virus, isn't it? Swigger tea on the way. Here we go. Dust it, over it, clay 
explain it. I don't know what's going back, if anything. Oh, I hate this. Dust in it. Before I get up there and start dusting it, look at this. This was kitchen towel that I had laid out. Paper towel, you call it. Laid out up there. So obviously when I put stuff up there, it didn't get, I don't know, dirty? How crazy is that? But look at it. <laughs> look at some of the dust on this. Can you see that? But I mean, there is the oven feed up there. So I'm guessing a bit of dust comes out of, out of that. But anyway, yeah, look at all that. Anyway, feather duster. I'm going to get up there and clean it, dust it, and then I'm going to hoover it because I can't reach to the back. Hoover it with the hoover, then I'm going to clean it. Pure, I am hot. So basically everything is down, it's all across, all the way over here. I've moved my step ladder, aka the chairs. <laughs> And I have cleaned up. I've just got to get those two things down. Um, I've moved them to one side because I couldn't come down with them. And then while I was uh, basically piling everything up, I knocked one of these glasses up. Look at the dust on those glasses. They have been up there probably since, actually before we moved in. No, <laughs> not before we moved in because, duh. We had a millennium party and we had 36 champagne glasses. And these were the 12, well, obviously we opened them to use three and then didn't open the rest. So the first thing we did when we moved in was store the surplus up there. So we moved in here in October 2000. Um, so in October this year, they'd have been up there 17 years. <laughs> like I was ever going to have a party where I needed 36 champagne glasses again. I was just going to show you my champagne glasses up there. But I got rid of them all, didn't I? Oh, I'm so hot. I have just got to have a stop. <laughs> I might have to go and put a best off on. I am sweltering. Um, it wasn't warm when I got up this morning, but I don't know whether it's because of this virus. I also I've just hoovered up the broken glass. Uh, picked up the big bits, hoovered up the broken glass. Now I'm going to put these bits back where they go. I'll stand out here for a second. Listen to the birds tweeting. Oh, my chest's hurting as well. I just ache all over. I'm just not well. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get it done now, I've gotta get it done. Right, I have to be very conscious of where I stand because I've taken my jumper off and I'm just standing here in my bra top. Just my bra, not even a bra top, just my bra. <laughs> so if you can see my reflection in anything, I can't see it in the curl. When I get to the cooker, we'll have to worry about it. Right, this thing here that you saw me hold up when I was up the ladder is the family tree. <laughs> On my husband's side that I did just before his mum died. Um, I went back, I mean generations, uh, went back to 1710. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Nine generations. Um, I've got it all on the computer. I literally printed it out to take over to show. Um, Hubby's mum, because she didn't have a computer, and even if she did, she wouldn't have really been able to see the screen. So that's just going to go in the bin. Right, these trays. I've put all the trays together, I think. These trays. So, this tray here matches that set of plates and knives and cups and glasses that husband's mum gave us when... Uh, husband moved in with me, <laughs> should have been collecting it, I think like I've already told you as a bottom drawer thing, for when he set up his own home, we've never used it, it's going to go with the set. We never use it. Uh, let's stick it in there for now. This one, this tray, we've had since I lived in the flat, and it was never new, we bought it from the charity shop. <laughs> My husband wanted to make me breakfast in bed once, right, when we first, he moved in with me. So he went downstairs and below the flat there was like a supermarket and a dry cleaners and across the road was a charity shop, you know, a thrift store. So he went and got all the stuff to make me breakfast in bed but we didn't have a tray, or I didn't have a tray. So he went to the charity shop, which was the only shop in the area, you know, because I was still in bed, that he could buy. <laughs> so he bought this tray for the charity shop and he brought me up breakfast in bed or bought me breakfast in bed. 
And we still use this to this day. Now, that would have been 20 years ago as the breakfast in bread show. Now, it's all the polythene's come off it. Like, it's got, like, a, it's like wood with a coating on it. And it's all bubbled and because it's so old. And so we bought this one to replace it fairly recently. It's, um, I think we bought it from Tesco's. Can't remember. Just to keep eyes and fire on it. Um, and it's got, like, this, uh, who is that designer that looks like that? Uh, Scottish it begins with an R come on, come on well I'm going to put it down here because I can't remember and I ain't got time to <laughs> try and think we bought this one instead and um, this one, I only used it for about a, year, a couple of months and look, it's already broke and my husband said he was going to glue it he hasn't glued it plus you can't get two bowls, two mugs on here <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen with that one whether my husband is going to glue it right, I just need to take a break because my back's killing me hold on I'm truly still fighting this virus, so let's get through this quickly because I can just go upstairs and look, I'm sweating, lay down um, and try and chill out a little bit. So this is more bits to do with the uh, Kenwood Chef thing, you know, like it's like a KitchenAid thing. Um, that's the ice cream maker and then that's the extra bowl, I think it came with the extra bowl. I don't know what these bits are. Bits. Obviously, I'm keeping them all, but they've got to go somewhere with the rest of it. And um, that's the bit that goes on the top to do the grinding. There's another one of these lordship mugs now, which I find extremely interesting because I only had one now. It is from my mum. I'm sure. Yeah, here's it was a present to my husband from my mum that comes with like a little coaster but he already has one that says his lordship but he wanted to get one that matched mine so he's probably going to want to keep that I thought he had one as well let's put that there right these are them bloody stupid food firmness things oh I've skipped over something now that is a fruit bowl supposedly but it's one of the ones that you can hang bananas on so you're supposed to put fruit there and hang bananas on it well, i used to use it with some boy when we moved in to here like a housewarming present it was al thanks al <laughs> um we used to use it but we don't really use it anymore but i don't know why so i might keep that put it there for now why i use this one as you can see it's not dusty and it's clean and i use the little one Try not to knock any of the. I used a little one. I use these two quite often when I take food over to old people, which I do because whatever. Um, but I don't think I've ever used these two big ones, though so possibly I used them when we had a party. Like one was filled up with rice, one was filled up with chilli. I don't know. Let me have a look at them. I'm not going to keep the big two. This one is too big, I won't ever use it. Um, when am I going to do that chilli that big and have a party? And then this one doesn't close properly for whatever reason. It looks like the lid. I thought I only had a set of three, which was this one, this one, and one about that size. I have a feeling that these came from my husband's mum. But anyway, um, this one doesn't, it looks like it's been dropped because the lid's all tucked up under there. But there, ooh, can you see me naked in the lid? Probably if I held it up wrong, so let's try not to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm not keeping those big two, so they're going. Okay, so keeping those. Then these two IKEA lamps. We did used to use these when we have a barbecue. I might actually put them outside on the patio. They don't rust. I think they must be made of aluminium. aluminium, aluminium, aluminium. Aluminium, 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 as we say, <laughs> over here. Uh, I might put them on the patio, on the decking, you know, outside. So I'm going to go and put them by the door. Right, moving on to uh, this shizzle. Doesn't seem so bad when you've got it all down. Um, keeping this, it is very, very old. Um, at Christmas, we put the mince pies on it, and then at Christmas dinner, we, we just use it every year. These, my goodness, I haven't seen these for a long time. These are party trays. And we used to have a lot of parties. And these used to come out. We used to wipe them and use them. And they're really good if you... Oh, the last time we used them was my dad. <gasps> <laughs> Don't do that. 
Do not hold that up because I just saw myself reflected. No bra. No, I have a bra on. No top. Actually, I'm going to leave them on because they could just need a wipe. Keep on that. Uh, this is when we used to have Halloween parties. And we did used to have a lot of Halloween parties. We don't have Halloween parties anymore where people get dressed up. Um, this is brilliant, by the way. Just crisps and peanuts and whatever. And then look, I've already got rid of a small one of these. I didn't realise I had a big one. Um, so I've got another one of those, which is also going. That has been up there probably for 10 years. So put that through there. To the rest of this stack. This is a pink. It's actually a 1940s. Sorry, I'm showing you nothing. This is actually a 1940s uh, pressed glass bowl. I don't know where I got it from. Um, I used to use it in some room with pot puree on it. I can't remember what room, might have been the toilet. I don't remember. Husband's mum gave me this load of pot puree that she made up. And so I bought this from a charity shop. It's quite a nice bowl, uh, but I'm not keeping it. Put it with a good head. Oh, this thing. I made this thing. I went for one of them finger your paint pottery. And um, I can't remember what it's called. I can't call it limp biscuit, but it's not called. It's supposed to be a grape bowl. So I sponged all this first of all, and then I painted these leaves. Um, painted these, painted those. The leaves look quite nice. A bit wobbly because you had to use this sort of like weird thingy, probably. Oh, I did it in 09. <laughs> Let me just turn that over. I need both hands. Hold on, I'll show you. There you go. I did a thumbprint and um, the date, 5th of the 3rd, 09. So it was eight years ago. I quite like the thumbprint on the back. Will I ever use it though? Am I ever going to get that and go, oh look, yeah, I've got some sort of grapes in this, I made it. I don't think so. I don't know, but I made it. Well, I didn't make it, I just painted it. Ugh, it doesn't even really go with anything. Right. I'm not going to decide about this one, you're going to decide about this. Comment below whether I should keep a hand-painted grape bowl. Actually, I suppose I could use it as a fruit bowl. Eh. Anyway, you decide. Not me, you. And then this is our turkey plate. It is old. Um, it is... I don't know whether it's considered an antique. It's probably 1930s. Um, just, I think it was my nan's. I've had it a very long time. I've had it probably about 35 years and I've used it every single Christmas. And basically, we prop it up there so you can see it. Sorry, I'm not showing you. We prop it up there and we put the other one there so we've got a set of, I would like a third one really, make it look a bit more evenly spaced, but I'm not gonna go out and buy one. Anyway, keeping. That Thai food tin came from the father-in-law's house when we cleared it out and it had all like loose bits in it like um, I don't know screws and parts of rocks and whatever my husband wanted to have a look for it it was best before the end of 1990 sorry about all that I'm sure it's no good I think I've already said them glasses are going and obviously those two there was grey but I knocked one on the floor and there's another one of those sherry glasses so they're all going I'm going to put them out there now I've already said those are going, the monkeys in the boxes, so I'm going to put those out there now. Oh, there's also part of a clock mechanism with no hands and whatever, so that's going as well. Last stretch is these jars. Now, I bought these jars from the range and I bought ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Eight, because there's another one out here that I was had sugar in it, and I washed it up the other day to put get rid of. And I was the plan was I was going to put my flour and my some freezing flour and my sugar and my lentils and whatever. I saw some other YouTuber that had it all set up like that, and I've never done that in the 35 years that I've been keeping house. Um, so why was I suddenly going to start doing it now? So. Uh, yeah, the only thing that I might keep, I put four of the little ones as well, the smaller size ones, and I might actually keep one for brown sugar and one for white sugar and one for rice flour. 
because rice flour is the only other type of flour that I use apart from normal flour. So I might just keep those three because rice flour comes in really small boxes. So I think I'm going to keep those three and the rest are going to go. I'm never going to use them. I am never going to fill them up with lentils and all that shizzle. No matter what I think I'm going to do. Look, the receipt is still in this one. Let's have a look how much these things cost that I'm now throwing away. Well, I'm not throwing away. They're not being wasted. Uh, I'm going to give them to the charity shop. I'm actually going to give them to the RSPCA lady. Let's see how much. When did I buy them? I bought them. Third of the 5th. Oh my God, January, February, March, April, May. So almost uh, 2015. So almost exactly to the day, two years ago. I bought these with the view of doing what I was going to do. Now the big ones were one ninety nine, and the little ones <laughs> were one seventy nine. And I did buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It says I bought ten, but there's only eight there. Possibly broke some, I suppose, unless there's two in use, which I don't believe there is. But anyway. They're going. Can't believe that. Eight, ten times two pound, twenty pound, twenty pound. Boom. Give me twenty pound. No. Set fire to it. Though the charity will benefit from these, so it's not that crazy, is it? Just feels a little crazy. Is left to take that ribbon because I can tie on one. The funny thing is, I have still got a video of when I washed all those out and was going to load them all up and <laughs> didn't do it. Right, vinegar bottle, which is great because I love using these type of vinegar bottles. And we had one, we used to have one with vinegar in it and one with oil in it. And the oil one never got used, so it just got chucked up there. And the vinegar one we used all the time, and the vinegar one recently broke. <laughs> Basically, this lid got stuck and my husband got a pair of pliers. I'm going, don't use pliers, don't use pliers, you'll break it. He was like, I'll be fine. He twisted it with the pliers, he broke it. But anyway, I'm going to put that in the dishwasher and we'll use that. But these are blind beans, you know, when you do blind baking, which I have used. Have I? Not these ones I don't think I've used. I bought these because my old one, oh, I never used to use them. I just used to use rice and... <laughs> Started to get all burnt and horrible, and these was on sale in Sainsbury's. So, I and then these are empty. Let's just make a bit of noise there. <laughs> empty glass jars, um, which I my husband used to drink this when it was on special offer. 2011, 2011. I've had them empty glass jars up there for six years, um, and we kept them because there's like really good sealy glass jars, like they got. <laughs> Flicking the label off, yeah. <coughs> they've got a really good seal. So we thought we're gonna, we was gonna keep sugar in them, or oh, I don't know, what you keep in glass jars, just like the other things we just bought, like sugar or name something you keep in glass jars for God's sake. Sugar, they're too small for rice. They're too small for anything rather than just sugar. But of course, I never used them. Look, they just, we just thought they were both cute. Me and my husband thought they were cute. Then he stopped drinking that coffee anyway. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep two because I'm going to give two to my mum. <laughs> my mum uses this really massive sugar jar, which is way too big for her. And she will just, oh, will she be able to undo it though? Hold on. I'm not sure she'll be able to undo it, to be fair. No, I'm not gonna get I'm gonna keep one, which is gonna because I've got this bag of sugar. And it'd be quite nice, look, it's just about the right amount to decant in there and have a bag of sugar. So I'm gonna keep one. Oops. <laughs> or is there any point? It's like I'm just thinking, oh I could keep one and put coffee in it. Nah, there we go. What 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 talk me out of this? Keeping old jars, come on, get rid of this crap. Finally, for this section of the top bits, is this 
which did this come out of our fridge before last or this fridge I think this came out of our fridge that just got thrown away didn't it it's not from this fridge that we've got now I think it's from the fridge that went I'm going to keep the ice cube tray because we don't have an ice maker anymore it might be out of the current fridge that I've just given to that family so I'm going to see them this weekend so I might see whether that came out of if that came out of the fridge we've just given away I'm going to give it to the people that have got the fridge if it came out of our old fridge which I think it did I'm throwing it away either way it's leaving here not there an old jar of cranberry sauce I don't know why it was up there it's out of date anyway another part of the Kenwood mixer I'm going to go and put that with it Kenwood mixer stuff, a vase, which I thought I decided all the vases I kept. I have one almost identical. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I don't need it. Biscuit. Both of these are biscuit tins, jars, whatever you want to call it. This one is the one that I got from Ikea when I was living in the flat on my own um, and it used to have a silver lid but the silver's worn off of it and we do use it when we have guests and we've got biscuits open but we don't have biscuits open that often and then that one this came at Christmas well it must have been Christmas 2009 and it reminds me of a biscuit tin that my nan used to have and when I was a little girl growing up, my, both my nan and my mum had a biscuit tin like this. And in the lid, I don't know if anyone has, hold on. In my mum's one in the lid, it had a thing that used to have like, like silica gel, I suppose, to keep the biscuits dry. Probably wasn't silica gel, but you know what I mean. And I just opened it and there were things in it. There is a copy mug that my mum bought me. There it is. A Dalek, another Dalek, and a TARDIS. And there is a book ring. And there's a little fridge magnet that my friend gave me that said, Friends are like angels. You don't have to see them to know they are there. Hmm. Might put that on the fridge. Okay, so now it's empty. Um, and I used to keep, I bought this purely because it reminds me right. so when I was about four my little brother was born and my mum used to have a biscuit tin like this and my mum used to have my little brother in the playpen and he used to point to this tin what a, a, tin, sin, a tin similar to this on the coffee table and say biscuit biscuit and if you give him the tin well my mum used to open the tin and give him a biscuit generally a Farley's rusk or something like that and he used to not want it he used to throw the biscuit on the floor and then go biscuit biscuit and basically he wanted the tin and he used to sit there with a the tin <coughs> drum in the tin so my mum ended up for that christmas he was probably one i was four or five um she gave him she bought him a drum for christmas but he never played with that drum he always just wanted the biscuit tin <laughs> And so when I saw this in the shop one Christmas with biscuits in it, I just was like, oh God, it reminds me of my mum's tin and my nan's tin. And I'm keeping it. Um, not because it's the original tin, just because it has a lot of fond memories. I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm going to put it in the dishwasher because it needs washing out and then decide when it comes out whether I keep or give it away. Anyway, that's me done. I am knackered. Even though I've barely done anything, my chest is hurting, my shoulder is hurting, and my chest is hurting because, I, because I've got some kind of phlegmy virus, which is whatever. I try not to see myself reflected. But anyway, so keeping the... That's just rubbish now. Um, actually, she says, put those out. I'm not keeping those garlics. Let me put these out here and show you all the stuff that's going. So, nearly 100% finished with this um, with the stuff that's going this is all the stuff that is leaving my kitchen but I haven't, no one has actually commented and told me what that is and if you don't before it goes it goes um, 
Yeah, there's loads of stuff that's leaving here. I've got to pack it all up and get it out of here. Obviously, that's leaving as well. What am I saying? Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. So that's all staying. Two plates, ice tray, mug, lime beads, vinegar bowl, two biscuit tins. They're staying. That's possibly staying. Let me know. I'm keeping the three small ones of those. I'm keeping the two small ones of those. I'm keeping that. That's all parts of my mixer. The trays. If my husband says we're going to clean, fix that, he will and we'll keep it. And then that's his mug, which he has to decide about. So, keep. Oh, that's also going. Oh, and I forgot about that. Oh, dang. This is, again, I think it was either an engagement or a wedding present, and it went with everything. The only thing we've still got left, actually, we've got quite a lot. This was the Russell Hobbs stainless steel range, that blender, that coffee maker, that toaster. We did use to have a kettle, it's gone now because it died. We're all of the same range that people bought us, like I think our friends all sort of clubbed together and bought us one of everything. I think we have used it. We haven't used this one. No, we haven't used this one. We used my husband's mum's one. And you basically, it's good for heating up food like when you've got guests around. And to be honest, we might use it. I'm going to keep that. So I need to dust it and put it back because that's heavy. This is going as well though. So let's just put this out here. With the rest of the stuff that's going. And I do have to get up there and get them bits down. So I'm going to do that off camera because I haven't got no top on, like I said. There isn't much up there. I'm just going to pull it down and put it on here. And then we'll have a look at it, including my wedding cake. 